And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan. Once again bringing you my thoughts and I guess trailer reaction to the DC fandoms uh, full trailer I guess. I guess this is what DC is going to be showing us at their little Comic Con event which is strictly only DC property films and TV shows so the, basically the DCEU, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League cut, um, the Arrowverse stuff, what's going on with that. Obviously, probably won't, maybe we won't see some footage. Maybe they are showing us footage. I don't know. But everything is going to be dropped on Saturday. But um, this is going to be a, sh a little trailer of what they're going to be showing us. So let's see what we get. And um, let's check out. I am excited about this. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. On August 22nd, mm -hmm. comes an unprecedented global fan event. Okay, Hello, Superman, everybody. nice. It's all DC, all the time. DC fandom is unlike anything you've ever seen before. I'm actually standing inside a stage that Jim Lee himself okay, that's cool. drew. How incredibly cool is that? It's crazy, right? This worldwide mega event is for Cartoon DC fans across the globe. So how DC fans go? I am the Hindi. Guten Tag, man of wonder. We've got exclusive footage, insider info, the latest DC news, and huge announcements. You know what I'm talking about. Black Adam, There's okay. There's no way that I could come here and not bring a look at the movie. There's so much cool content to look at. That was a really special episode. Designed just for you, the absolute DC fan. There's something that I can show you. Exclusive content! Stuff that seems impossible. Oh, the new video game. Impossible. Okay. I'm beyond excited to be sharing this moment with you guys. Awesome. Hang on tight, because we're about to whisk you around the DC fandom. Are you guys ready? Let's get this thing started. That was so cool. DC Fandom Hall of Heroes. All fans welcome. 24 hours only. August 22nd. And there's only one place you can experience it at DCFandom.com. That looks amazing. Okay. So obviously we're gonna be seeing some great stuff here. Maybe some some new stuff about the comics for those fans who love the comic book stuff. Um the Arrowverse um that looks interesting. That's probably the most interesting thing to me because, honestly, we we you know what we're going through right now as a world pandemic is happening. I don't think they're filming anything for Arrow stuff. You know, Flash and Legends. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe they have. Maybe they haven't. I don't know. So that's most likely they're not going to show anything except for. Maybe Superman and Lois. I think they were filming that last year. I'm not too sure about that. Maybe they haven't even started that. But I'm pretty... If, if I had a guess, I think that'd be the only like clips or tease we'll get from, from the Arrowverse. Which would be Lois and Superman. The new Superman TV show. Or spin-off of Supergirl. Obviously, we're not going to see anything from Supergirl. Because of what's going on. Not only with the pandemic, but Melissa Benoit, she is pregnant, so I don't think we're going to see anything from there. Flash, maybe, who knows, but um, Legends, Black Lightning, who knows, and oh, and Batwoman as well. I mean, we, we may get, you know, to see the new actress playing Batwoman in her costume, maybe, who knows. Uh, for the DC movie universe, uh, they just showed a little, I guess, a little tip or clue of The Rockets Black Adam. Looks like a, he looks like he's in a cave, so that could be a tease for Black Adam. Maybe he, knowing him, he's probably filming that thing in space somewhere, being all ready to go, and you know, with footage. Who knows? Suicide Squad. I feel like we're gonna get a full, a, a good trailer for that one because that's been filming since last year, so that should be pretty much done. Remember, if you don't, you know, if you don't remember, at one time at Comic Con, James Gunn was filming Guardians of the Galaxy for like ten days or something like that. He ended up dropping a trailer there, so it is possible. A Batman, same thing. I think the Batman, we're going to get a teaser, even though they've been saying we're going to get a teaser. I believe strong, heavily, we're going to get a nice little teaser for the Batman. Obviously, Wonder Woman 84, that's already been done, but maybe they're going to announce that it's going to go to the DCE, uh, the DC HBO Max thing. 
or they're going to push it back to next year, which I feel like they, maybe they should due to the fact that, I mean, it's still technically going to be released this year, but we haven't really heard anything. So that's still up in the air. So who knows? But um, I'm looking forward to this. And also we're going to get a teaser for uh, the Justice League Snyder Cut, which I am excited for, but I'm also like, okay, really? Do we still need this? But you know what? I'm still going to go see it. I still, I am still looking forward to see what version we're going to get of the Justice League movie. That we were supposed to get with Snyder, but um, yeah, not super excited about it, but I am, I am curious. So I'm gonna, you know, if you want to go back and watch my video of me why I'm not super excited for the Snyder cut, I have a video for that. You can go check it out. But um, yeah, so it looks like this is gonna be pretty interesting. I mean, this is a cool idea. I feel I kind of wish Marvel would do this for their stuff because let's face the facts, right now Marvel's kind of like you know small little bubble after end game stop they're at a dead dead end and they haven't backed up yet so we're still waiting for their movies to come out but this is a great opportunity for dc to catch up and you know be like hey guys we're still here you know we can still make our great movies too and that's what they got to do they got to focus on just making great movies and the tv stuff is great no matter what they they they, they kick marvel's butt when it comes to the tv the tv stuff so nothing to worry about but for marvel always wins because you know they don't focus on beating dc they always focus on themselves so that's what dc has to do they need to focus on their movies make them great if you want to make them connected sure go ahead if you don't want to do that anymore go ahead and do that too but just focus on the dc movies and it looks like they're going to be doing that and with this fandom stuff coming up i'm super excited for it so um i can't wait so leave me a comment below let me know what you guys think about this and what are you guys more excited for Wonder Woman 84, the Arrowverse stuff, Batman, Suicide Squad, all that new video game that's supposed to be announced as well. There's supposedly a new video game that's coming out from Batman. I, I heard based on the Suicide Squad, maybe Superman might be a part of it. That's what I heard. I don't know. So I'm not too sure. But that, you know, a new Batman game. Sign me up. Yes, you know, in the vein of the old stuff. Especially with the technology today, since PlayStation 5 is coming out soon, so yeah, and the new Xbox as well. So yeah, technology is going to be like crazy for the new video games. So yeah, that would be kind of cool to see. But for me personally, I'm more excited to see in this whole fandom is the Batman. You know, I like Robert Patterson. I think he's a good actor. I kind of, I know he's going to be a good Batman. But there are a lot of people out there who are speculating that he, he's going to, he's going to choke or whatever. But I'm excited to see that kind of footage, that and Suicide Squad, you know me, I love Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, and um, so yeah, it's going to be fun to see that stuff, so leave me a comment below, let me know what you guys thought about it, thank you very much, and have a good day.